Welcome custom car fans, my name is Aurora and this is Feature Match. I'm recording this immediately after doing the last Feature Match and hopefully they will not be going up immediately after one another and instead you get slightly more um, spaced out uh, uploads to last you for a bit longer instead of doing a binge all on one Saturday evening as I'm sure you do while eating a tub of ice cream. <sighs> Nobody watches these do they? <laughs> No, it's okay. Um, we're, 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 do we're doing a feature match. We're doing a feature match. And this time it's my feature match. Last one, Ava got to uh, do his feature match. And his feature match, um, he sent to me and was like, Hey, do this match. It's got my deck in it. And I said, Oh, okay, sure. I th I mean, like, it's. I mean, like, why why would you just, like, promote yourself like this? I, I don't know why you do that. Stop. But now I'm doing it. So it's completely fine and valid. <laughs> Okay, so this is me versus Blaze, and um, Blaze is playing a very new deck of his, which is Minion Hunter, which is a very um, field spell centric deck. And I'm playing um, Pure Punk. You might have seen Pure Punk um, from the deck profile that Nerd Factor recently posted on his YouTube channel. And to that I say, uh, I stole that list. <laughs> I stole that list and I changed it slightly for EXU. Um, <laughs> I just realized I have my dueling book sounds off for the entirety of the last record. I'm not reading. I'm not re-recording it. I'm just going to turn them on now. Yep. Okay. And now I need to turn my, um, now I need to make sure that I don't have any um, speakers. Hyperx podcast. There we go. There we go. Oh, brilliant. Now you can hear it, but I can't hear it. And so that means it doesn't annoy me. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're in the zone. We're professional. Um, so Blaze is going first, play and they've opened um, really well. I've opened four. Ha I've opened uh, three hand traps, cross out, and full combo. So, um, <laughs> you know, hopefully I can still do this, but unfortunately a new page into uh, Sea of Aracalcos is very, very scary. Of course, I don't know this at this point. You're, you're, you'll see. You'll see. Um, so, I'm going to Ash the Minion Hunter of the... Uh, minion, Mountain Minion of the Sun. And then Ko's going to immediately summon Hana. Hana's effect is going to search for Daras. And then it's going to be activating Passionate Research. This card excavates top three, adds any excavated field spells to the hand. And then... Oh, there's no field spells. So they're all just going to go straight back into the deck. Goodbye expeditioning, goodbye expeditioning, and goodbye the other card. Then we're going to set the new page and the and just pass the turn. I'm going to draw and it's another combo. It's just another combo starter. We're going to activate the Yaman, pay six. That's going to get ashed, but I don't really care because I have Foxy Tune. I'm going to activate Foxy Tune effect, um, discarding itself, and we're going to discard DD Crow as well in order to summon. Um, Ukiyoi Punk Sharakusai. We're going to activate Ukiyoi Punk Sharakusai's effect, paying six in order to special summon the fusion monster, Joel. No, it's not Joel. It's um, Ukiyoi Punk Rising Carp. Then we're going to activate Ukiyoi Punk Rising Carp in order to tribute it and special summon from the deck the Wagon and the Deer Notes. We're then going to activate the effect of the Wagon, pay six, and then um, search for the field spell. Um, Punk Jam Extreme Session. What fun. Gonna activate the field spell and then synchro summon into the punk jam dragon drive. Activate jam dragon drive effect, pay six, and then trigger the effect in the graveyard of the deer note. I always forget to um, trigger that immediately afterwards um, in chain to special summon back the uh, Shadow Kusai and search for the Jururi punk Madame Spider. Then we're going to activate the effect of um, extreme session effect to draw, which will get chained to by the new page. Um, goodbye, and hello, Seal of Oracalcos. Uh, the important thing here is, um, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck. Um, I only play one of this. Yeah, um, the... Referring to missing timing is this effect uh, when if this card is activated destroy your special summon monsters your opponent can, uh, you control uh, because mm. <laughs> Why can't I place monsters in my spell and trap zone with this card like what the heck? Okay, it looks like we're gonna be doing standard beatdown jam dragon drive or um, yeah um, jam dragon drive is gonna beat into the 
uh, boy, and then I'm going to be indirect with this uh, Sharakusai for 17, because I am getting boosted by the Aurichalcos's 500 boost. Then I'm going to set a cross-out designator and pass a turn. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And this would be destroyed, but because of um, a new page, which would um, pop it during the opponent's next end phase. But unfortunately, um, once per turn, this card cannot be destroyed by card effects. That's funny. Um, Blaze is going to summon Kashdira Fenrir and then use this effect to add another Kashdira from deck to hand. I'm going to cross out Kashdira Fenrir. Because I can. Its effects are negated this turn. Cool. Uh, Blaze is going to summon Darius and use Darius' effect to search for minion mount Mountain Minion of Twilight. Then it's going to get linked off for a Salamangre Great Almirage. And then we're going to uh, use the Sun, summon the um, Twilight, or activate the Twilight, use the Twilight to special summon back the Hana. Hana effect to search for Darius. Uh, for next turn, then it's going to be a link between the um, Hana and the Almirage in order to summon the um, Minion Hunter Kara. Uh, Kara's effect is going to activate to special summon one from deck, I think. On res, I will nib. And off the top, when the teleport is um, emergency, Minion Hunter Hana. Uh, Minion Hunter Hana is not going to trigger because obviously it's um, it can't trigger. It's already been used this turn, and then it's going to be a link off into Kara. Now this does one thing for me particularly well, and that is leave me with a Nibiru, the primal being on my field, which is now 3,500 in the beta. Uh, we're going to activate emergency, tele emergency Teleport in order to search for uh, a Nopunk Ziyaman. Going to go Ziyaman effect. Pay for six. Oh, I think I just remembered something. And that thing is, I think I forgot that I didn't normal summon the Z. Wait, there's no way. Going to summon this um, Ogre Dance here. Oh my god, I forgot I didn't normal summon. Ah, oh, That's annoying. This is really annoying. Okay, so we're going to go nib into this Kara, and then we're going to um, declare Ogre Dance chain to um, when your opponent activates a monster effect, you can make this card gain attack equal to that opponent's monster's original attack until the end of this turn. Bet you didn't know this card had other effects then you can discard this card to add a punk. Yeah, no, I'm redeclaring onto the um onto the onto this because this ogre dance is currently 5000 attack. Oh, <laughs> uh, we're going to go end end of main. Yeah. Oh. If I remembered that I had this madame spider that I could have summoned this would have gone differently, I think. Very differently. Because I would have had access to... Um, I would have been able to pop a field spell as soon as it was um, played. Which is kind of annoying. Anyway, Darius is going to get summoned. And it's going to use this effect to search for a mountain minion of Twilight. Because this is a one card link to into Kara. Then we're going to activate the mountain minion of uh, Lava, I think this is called. Mountain Minion of Lava. What fun. <clears throat> now it's going to get summoned. It's effect is going to activate to pop the two monsters. They're going to go. And then we're going to activate Mountain Minion of Twilight. And that's going to summon back Kara. And that's literally just the end of the game. Because this gives them all 1,000 attack and defense. Well, it gives um, Kara 1,000 attack and defense. Um, but I, was I actually like not dead here? I think I just mistook, mistook that for... um. Yeah, no. If I if I remembered I had the normal summon there, I would have won that game, I think. I think the Nashiwari surprise would have really helped. Anyway, it's time for game two, and we are going first, and... Oh, this hand is... Oh. I love playing Punk! I love playing this deck. This deck is wonderful. I love playing Punk. <laughs> is that a missed play? 
play the game. Blaze is going to draw, and it's Hana. Um, doesn't really matter anyway, because he had the Mountain Minion of the Sun. Luckily, he's drawn the Seal of Arakalka, so he can't Arakalka, so lock me. He's going to use the effect to search for a Darius, and then he's going to normal summon the uh, Darius in order to search for the Mountain Minion of Twilight. Then it's going to be a link um, a link for that Darius into a Almirage. Uh, activate over that um, Sun for the Twilight. Activate the Twilight effect. Special summon back the Darius from the Graveyard, and link the two of them into a Kara. Standard line of play for Minion Hunter. Then Kara's effect is going to activate to special summon from the deck. A field spell, which is going to be this uh, Mountain Minion of Air. And then use the Mountain Minion of Air effect to draw a card. Very simple one card combo that ends on pretty much just a plus three in advantage. What fun. Mountain Minion of Twilight's effect is going to uh, not going to be activated here. Sorry. Um, we're just going to be activating over it the Mountain Minion of Lava. Uh, which means that these cards can't be destroyed by battle. And then our uh, air is going to go back into the deck. And we're going to draw a card and... Well, that's a card. We're going to activate Gizmek Orochi, Serpentron Sky Slasher. Banishing 8 from the top of that because I don't know that there is a banish 8 uh, face down command. <coughs> and we're going to summon the um, Gizmek Orochi in defense position. Then we're going to set the cross out and we're going to pass a turn. What fun. <coughs> Blaze is going to normal summon Darius, and we're going to activate the effect of Darius. We're going to activate Ash. We're going to activate Prosperity. Banishing six cards from the extra deck face down in order to uh, execute top six. See what we got. Oh, and the teleport is an emergency. Uh, place passionate research. The nature, ice, cyclone, Darius. We already have Darius in rotation, so we don't need another one, do we? Alrighty then, we're going to activate the effect of our Minion Hunter Kara, um, banishing the Sun from the graveyard in order to special summon out the Mountain Minion of Lava, summoning to um, summon the to target the Orochi, and it will still um, pop the Orochi. And I'm going to not realize that this is a not a quick effect. I love this card. I love this card. Uh, now, now it's going to be coming an emergency teleport, summoning the uh, mountain minion or mountain minion hunter Hana from the deck. Hana's effect is going to activate to search for probably the third Darius or second Darius. We no, it is the third Darius. Um, and then we're going to uh, what are we going to do here? <coughs> Thinking of linking four here. Are we locked? I don't know if we're locked. I don't think we're locked. <coughs> Sorry about that. There's going to be a beat in for 4,000, and that is completely fine because a standard line of punk play um, only um, pays 3,000 life points. So it's completely fine, smile. Uh, we're then going to go for the effect of Kara in order to um, summon a mountain minion of air, and then I'm going to nib. Yep, nib. Gonna get rid of all of those, summon a nib in defense. So this is 3500, 5500. And the next is activating is going to be Expeditioning. Which um cannot be activated because of Pot of Prosperity. I don't know where it's gone. I'm assuming Oh no, we oh we drew. We drew oh so we drew that off of air. I see, I see, I see. Anyway, we're going to draw, and it's going to be Okioi Punk Sharakusai. Um, interesting card. Uh, we're going to normal summon Okioi Punk Sharakusai, and it's just about probably going to um, it's probably just about going to be able to make it work for us. We're going to fuse it with the um, Deer Note, and then we're going to use the effect of the not the Deer Note because it has to be sent from the field to the graveyard. We're instead going to activate the effect of Rising Carp, attributing itself in order to special summon from the deck the uh, Wagon and special summoning the Deer Note. Uh, we're then going to activate the Wagon effect, pay 6, uh, add the field spell from the deck to the hand, Punk Jam Extreme Session. Uh, then we're going to draw that. Great, now that means that, um, um, and I did side and draw, but I don't think I actually need it. Um, we're going to immediately Synchro Summon into Dragon Drive, uh, pay for 6, and then we're going to trigger Deer Note in the Graveyard. In order to special summon back the, uh, we're going to special summon back the Sharakusai. We're going to dump a um, Ziaman. Then we're going to go Sharakusai plus the um, 
plus the Jam Dragon Drive in order to summon the Psychic Chem Punisher. Activate Psychic Chem Punisher, pay a thousand, banishing the Nib and the um, token, and then go to end of main. Go to battle phase, swing in direct for um, <laughs> a lot, a lot of damage. Uh, this is what um, six plus three plus um, so that's what um, ten thousand three hundred. Yep, damage. That's the end of the game. Get, uh, get psychic end punished. Ah, oh, love opening a hand of all hand traps. Blaze is going to choose to go first, and this is going to be an uphill battle for the game three, I can imagine. But not if we draw one of the two of nibs. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, Kashtira Fenrir. Fenrir effect is going to search for another Fenrir. Fenrir for Fenrir. Um, I don't get to show it off, but I am also playing Fenrir, and I'm playing it for a Barone line, and I think that's very fun. Uh, next is going to be Normal Summon of Darius, and that's going to search for the Twilight as per usual. Going to activate the Sun in effect to search for a Hana, I assume. No, we're searching for a second Darius. Interesting. I assume we just don't want to have the um. We just want to have the Darius in rotation, absolutely. Which is fair. Uh, we're then going to uh, link off for the Almirage, activate the Twilight, trigger the Twilight in order to summon back the uh, Darius. And then we're going to link the Darius and the Armourage to summon the uh, Kara. We're going to activate the Kara and on summon. Uh, Minion Hunter of Air. No, we're not going to activate on summon. We're in fact going to activate it at the end of the end phase because I think I figured out at this point that Blaze doesn't end on um, any monster negates. Well, uh... Seal of Orichalcos and Minion of Lava, Minion Hunter of Lava. I've really dodged a bullet here because it means that Expeditioning cannot place this, um, does not, has not excavated three or four and therefore cannot place that Orichalcos in my, uh, field zone. Yeah. That'd be pretty, it'd be pretty funny though. Uh, all of these are going to go back to the bottom of the deck, um, or back into, or back shuffled into the deck. The Lava and the, um, Orichalcos are going to be added to the hand. Um, at the end of the main phase, Nibiru the Primal Being is going to be activated. Uh, all of these are going to go to the graveyard, going to summon the um, Primal Being, and the token is going to get summoned in defense position. Uh, 6,900 attack. Nice. Uh, that's going to be the end of the turn, and it's ending on a Metaverse, a Minion Hunter of Lava, and a token. Yep, Nib token. We're going to draw, and it's going to be Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. How funny. We're going to go Foxy Tune Effect, and then we're going to go Foxy, pitching the... Um, Gives Mekarochi in order to summon the Z Armin. We're then going to activate the effect of the Z Armin, pay 600 life points, and search for the Sharakusai, which will allow us to normal summon the Sharakusai and activate its effect, pay six, and um, fusion summon using it and the other Z and the Z Armin on my field in order to summon the Ukiyoe Punk Rising Carp. We then go to activate the effect of Rising Carp in order to tribute it and special summon from the deck the uh, Wagon and the Dianote. Um, uh, we're going to activate the effect of Gugaku Punk Wagon, pay 600 life points, and search for the field spell. And then we're going to activate the Jam Extreme Session um, after, uh, not after Synchro. Oh no, we are activating it after we're Synchro Summoning. Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. I remember I did this correctly. I remember I did this correctly, yeah. Um, I'm just bank, I'm hoping, even though I've actually seen this Orichalcos go to the hand. Um, I don't know. Blaze could be playing too, and if that face down is a new page, then he could pop my field spell in order to um, activate Orichalcos and lock me out of the extra deck again. So instead I go for Jam Dragon Drive before activating my field spell so that he can't do that. So I'm going to go dra Jam Dragon Drive, uh, pay six, and also activate the effect in the graveyard of Dianote. Always forget. Never forget, always forget, uh, summon back the Sharakusai, and then we're going to add from the deck to the hand the Madame Spider. We're then going to Synchro Summon into the Amazing Dragon, and activate the effect of Amazing Dragon, bouncing back all three of these, since we do in fact have three, um, we do in fact have three with different names, uh, in the graveyard at least, I think, yeah. We have Wagon, we have Ziamen, and we have Sharakusai. 
and the last one, the Madam Spider, is in our hand. Then we're going to activate the um, Punk Jam Extreme Session, banishing from the graveyard the Deer Note to summon the Madam Spider, activate the effect of the Madam Spider, pay 600 life points in order to search from the deck the Jewelry Punk Nashuari Surprise. Then we're going to activate the effect of Extreme Session in order to draw one additional card. It's going to be Ogre Dance, we're going to use its effect to tribute the um, gorgeous Madam Spider, summon itself from the hand, and 3k plus 3k plus 25 is lethal. Blaze has Nibiru, but we have Cross Out. And that is just going to be the end of the game. That is... Oh. Never has there ever been a win that felt more deserved on my part, honestly. Just that... Oh, I know the metaverse wasn't, any, wasn't anything, but it made me feel very clever to... Um, hold out on activating that um that extreme session that will be it for this match uh report what do i call these again <laughs> that'll be it for this featured match please be sure to like comment and subscribe on the video and make sure you click the notification bell to make sure you are updated every time we upload i don't really have much else to say click the link in the description to join our discord server where you can also play games like this. You can play this deck. You can play Minion Hunter. You can play any deck that you want to. You can play um, Fuchsia Richie Control. I think that's a valid strategy. If you want to. Bye. <laughs>